In John chapter 15, verse 2, Jesus tells us that his father, the gardener, prunes us. And what's interesting to me is that that verse explains that God prunes those who are already bearing fruit. Sometimes we think of pruning with backsliding, but the context is we bear fruit and then God prunes us to bear more fruit. And I remember when I lived in Southern California and I saw avocado trees pruned and that isn't, isn't a little bit at the end. That is way down almost at the stump. I thought they went too far. But pruning can sometimes go deep. We were cleaning out our garage this week and pruning in a sense. We don't need that anymore. And that's what God's doing in our lives. He's telling us, you don't need that anymore. That attitude, the way you're spending your time, that relationship or maybe that dating relationship, that activity, that habit you have, he's pruning. One thing he might be pruning is assumptions. I wore this sweatshirt, which is from the Go Retreat, and there's a symbol on here from the early church, and it's Chi Rho, which is two Greek letters, Chi and then Rho, and on the symbol is the first two letters of the word Christ. So this symbol points people to Jesus. It was interesting, all the assumptions. Some people walked up to me and assumed it was a positive symbol, but other people kind of assumed the worst. And it made me realize that when we don't know something for sure, a lot of times we don't ask for information, we just run with our assumptions. Maybe God is pruning you with some assumptions or perceptions of other people or even of him that are inaccurate. So let's run to the truth, let's let God prune us, and let's bear much fruit for his glory and our good.